Welcome back to No Man's Sky with Survival Bob. Guys, um, just kind of chilling here on the couch here. We're picking up about where we left off in the last episode. I have uh, just kind of resting my feet a little bit. I made my way around the spaceport, talked to all of these wonderful people, learned a few more words. They were pretty generous. They gave me a warp cell and some navigational data and some other stuff like that. So uh, I think we are about done here. So we are going to jump up and see where this takes us. This black hole adventure takes us anyway. So let's go. A little nervous. Black holes kind of sound terrifying. What is this planet? Unknown planet. A rotting planet. That sounds exciting with high sentinel activity to boot. Alright, so. Alright, what is this? This planet doesn't look much better, it's all gray. Life incompatible planet, so aggressive sentinels. Sounds like a great place to be. Okay, so that uh, big black thing in the sky looks like a black hole. So how do I change my view again? I can't remember. There we go. I can call the anomaly and be like, hey, what's up with that? Switch starship view. Alright, so... Yeah, uh, I don't really want to do that right now. I'm kind of going towards this. Do we go in the black hole? Is that going to kill me? I'm not really worried about the fugitives. Pulse engines. Let's do this. Let's get crazy. Extreme gravitational interference. So am I supposed to go in here? Uh, I hope I'm not making a big mistake, guys. What do I do? Do it. Let's let's just see what this happen, what happens here. Whoa! All right, so this is cool. I don't know. Pretty much any uh, animation flying through space at super speed just looks awesome to me. I don't know what it is. Right, that was pretty quick. All right, where are we now? Euclid Galaxy First Contact, Belligerent Conflict Level, High Voltage Sustainable Economy, Black Hole Warp Successful, My, something was critically damaged. So is that a thing when you go through a black hole it can mess up your ship? Alright, so let's get the other view just because I like it better. Kind of, oh, there's a fleet over there. You see those ships? Look at all that stuff. What is this? All right, well, let's do our normal space station ritual before something crazy happens. So we're in a Corvax system, which we haven't been to one of those yet. Can I see? I bumped it. Sorry, I bumped an edge trying to get in the hole. My bad. I really think I need a different ship. Although this one has uh, been pretty fuel efficient. And it survived the black hole, so that's something, too. Alright, so what happened? What did I break? Of course I need all that crap I just got rid of. I need 13 magnetized ferrite, 75 chromatic metal, and one of these stupid wire looms. Alright, hopefully I can buy all that crap here. Uh, first, backpack. Exosuit upgrade. Sorry, it's not a backpack. It's an exosuit upgrade. There you go. What's up? What's up, Corbex? All right, so I'm gonna go with technology again. It's because there's some more stuff I need to put in my exosuit I haven't built yet. What's up? 
Hey everybody, I'm here. Don't worry. That looks like a um, explorer as well. It is a seek. Whoa! <laughs> that one almost landed on me. Fighter C class. All right, you're crap too. All right, let's see. How's your uh, how's your cobalt economy doing, guys? We got a little bit of everybody here. We got a uh, Corvax. We got a uh, Viking. Got a Gek. It's one big happy family, huh? Check out the Galactic Vending Machine. Alright, they sell some weird stuff. Alright, we needed a wire loom. Oh, crap, man. 57k. Alright, alright. We need one of those. And then we need... What else do we need? I don't think they sell stuff we need. We needed some... Chromatic Metal. Was that right? And... Something else I'll have to look. But first, let's let's check the economy. Exosuit. Let's go ahead and sell it all. Demands negative three. We get five mil. And rinse and repeat. Buy it back for one point four. So now we're up to what, like one point three? Yep. Perfect. Thank you. So we're getting to where we can buy an okay ship if we run across one. So there's a shuttle. Not interested. That is a shuttle as well. Not interested either. But we can go check out the, uh, the fleet outside. And see what's up. Oh yeah, I needed some magnetized ferrite. So I think I've got some ferrite, so I can just go ahead and make some of that. Go to the ferrite dust. Put that in here. And if you just slap it right in there, it just... Oh, nope. It doesn't work because I've got viscous fluids in there. So we need some pure ferrite. I think it's a 2 to 1 on the magnetized, so I'm going to go ahead and make twice as much as I think I need. Let's see. Math is hard. I'm just going to do 200. There we go. Alright, so we'll put this back. We'll throw this over here. Was I right? It is a 2 to 1. Okay, perfect. And then I needed, oh, I needed 13. <sighs> that was chromatic metal I needed 100 of. Oh well, we got it. We got that part. Now maybe one of these guys down here we can find will sell chromatic metal. And we'll be good. But there's nobody down here right now. What's up? So I was in a I saw this black hole and I was flying towards it and now I'm here. You're welcome. Pretty exciting for everybody. So I'm kind of holding off on the fleet thing. I'm kind of hoping I'm going to run into a better ship because uh, I'd like to have a fighter. One of the missions I know that's coming up right around now probably is somebody's going to attack a fleet and I have to defend it so that ship uh, was not fun in the fight I did the other day in the other episode it just was not fun did not like it at all so um, kind of hoping somebody will fly in with a fighter I want or at least uh, can pass and uh, make my fight a little bit more enjoyable you got anything cool? Toxic protection. Meh. Meh. Oh, I forgot to look at the multi-tool. How is your multi-tool here? Whoa! Now that's what I'm talking about. B class A. Class B. Well, I mean... What is that? A geology cannon. I don't even know what that does. I don't even know what that means. But I want it. 
Look at all these slots. 21? Alright, it just hits a little harder than mine and it scans a little bit farther than mine. Should I? That's 2.3 million. Uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I quit being so picky and just grab something that I can upgrade? Hmm. I want to know what that is. The heck with it. It looks awesome. Let's get it. We're going to have more money we know what to do with here shortly. Thank you. Oh. Is this for me? Did somebody leave this here for me? Very nice of them. Check around, see if there's anything else fun and exciting. Don't see anything. There's not a lot of traffic coming into this place. Mission target is in another system. Yeah, I know. I know. <sighs> I guess we're just going to have to do this. Let's see. <clears throat> now, you can dock in the uh, frigate things. Now, I don't know if I go through the black hole, if that's going to take me back to the same place I came from, or what. Let's check out the galaxy map and see where we're at. Not the communicator. There we go. Come on, Bob, pay attention. Alright, so where am I? Okay. Navigational data received. What are you telling me? What, what, what is going on? Alright, so this is where I am. Is this where it wants me to go? Huh. Alright, is that in my... Okay, so that's, that's kind of like a, a waypoint. What is that? Alright, so this is a Viking system. Okay. I guess that's telling me where it wants me to go. So where is... I mean, where did I come from? This map is so crazy, guys. It's... I mean, it's... It's... It's everywhere. Right? So... This is my current region. Capian Anomaly. And I guess it's telling me to go up there. Alright, so let's get out of this. Get a little distance here so I can look around. There we go. Let's go check this fleet out over here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool fleet. So you got these fleets with command ships, big command ships, and then uh, other ships. There it is. There's a command ship. Freighter. Whatever it's called. Alright, so am I upside down? Or are you upside down? So we can land in this thing and uh, kind of check it out. And this is what this is what uh, I want one of these because then you can you can do just more fun stuff. All right, somebody land something cool in here. Nobody. Nobody at all. There's not a lot of activity in the system. Somebody coming in? Door open. Hmm. So you get kind of a little bit of a different deal. Oh, there it is. Shuttle, of course. 
a little bit of a different uh, deal in the in these. You you can buy stuff, but this is where you can meet people and buy the 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 relics and for the different species and the different things that they like to increase your standing. So this is the bridge of the ship. That looks pretty cool. What's up, Corvax man? Can I talk to you? Does not appear so. Can I play with your computer? No. Nice pink planet. Hey, Captain Corvax. Sorry, Admiral. What you know? As an air of weary authority clearly marks this being as the freighter's captain. Do they tire of the burden of ownership, I wonder? The responsibility for life and livelihood of their crew must weigh heavy on their mind. They seem amenable to an offer. A freighter brings access to a large inventory, a hangar bay to which store multiple ships, and a space in which I can construct an orbital base. Yeah, all that stuff is awesome, guys, and we're going to get to it. But I ain't buying this ship because I don't have enough money. But uh, you see it's got some cargo. You can kind of check it out. It's pretty cool, doesn't it? It's like some kind of Imperial Star Destroyer or something. With a big cannon on the front of it. Alright, so we're out of here. Can't do anything with you. Uh, let's see, when you do leave... Now you can build in all of these units inside this thing. So, we'll get to that a little bit. We'll build... Uh, bays and a base and all kinds of cool stuff in here. But first, let's, you know, steal some crap from them before we leave. Oh, we got a Gek Relic. Is that it? Yep. Pretty much. Anything else? Nothing else for Bob. I'll take the Relic, though. Thank you. And figure out my way back out of this thing. Now these things are multi-story too, so when you're building your base you can go up multiple stories. It's pretty sweet. I just played with that a little bit in my, uh, you know, when I was kind of figuring this game out before I started the playthrough. Nobody's landing in your ship. What's up with that? Oh. I I've already got one of these. Yeah. No thank you. This one's mine, right? Alright, we're getting some landing now. Okay, we got a hauler. That's pretty cool looking. Let's go talk to this guy. What's up, Corvax guy? Come here. Yep, yep, I don't understand a word you're saying. But... You got anything I can buy? Frost crystal, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what to do with that, but hey, nice. So yeah, you can buy the Corvax casings from these guys, which increase your standing. Uh, the convergence cube, which I believe you use that for uh, some the portal uh, some portal stuff later on in the game. Now you can sell to these guys different economies so if I wanted to I can sell the cobalt to this guy for six million but I wouldn't be able to buy it back so I'd have to start all over so I don't want to do that um, how much is your ship let's just take a look at it uh, let's see wow now that's crap okay I don't even care I don't even care crappy ship Anybody else land? No? Ow. Alright, well, let's get out here in the stars and see what is up. Well, let's go. What's going on? Alright, so I think I'm supposed to warp to another system. Isn't that what it's telling me? Starship guidance message. Hold B to engage boost. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I... Ah, oh, crap. So, I don't really want to mess with that. Hostile scan. Space pirates. Crap. So, I'm going to try to get away from these guys. Now, I enjoy blowing these guys up when I got a decent fighter. But, this ain't that. I see, I can't use my pulse engines right now because there's an enemy. Ah! Don't shoot Bob! Don't shoot Bob! I'm just an explorer. Look at my ship. I don't mean anybody no harm. Well, I mean, I mean a few people. So you can kind of run in here and hide if you want to. Can I can I pulse away now? Yes, I can. All right. Let's bring up my galaxy map. All right. So it, what is it, what are you telling me? Alright, this is where I am, right? Have I been there? I'm getting confused, sorry. Let me back up. Yeah, I've been there. If there's a square around it, that means I've been there, right? Just kind of back up. Alright, so there... What is this? Is that where we want to go? Select. Yeah, I think that's where we're heading. I guess there's a star there. Let's look. And we haven't been there yet, so let's check it out. Uh, I gotta leave. I gotta get some fuel. All right, let's stop doing that. Throw some. Uh, f oh crap! Chromatic metal. I'll deal with that later. I don't, I don't necessarily have to have that. Mm, let's see. My hyperdrive's working though, right? Recharge hyperdrive. Warp cell. Alright, let's try that. And get back to the galaxy map. Now can I fly to that place now? Was it? There it is. I'm still trying to, trying to figure out how to kind of navigate around this thing. Eh, that's up, down, forward. Oh, I gotta deselect. Out of jump range. Uh, Emerald drive required. All right, didn't it tell me to go somewhere else first? I like Gek systems, they just seem... They just seem nicer, 112 light years away. Let's go. Warp. Check out another system! So the black hole just kind of flung me out here somewhere. I don't know if uh, it's taken me to a different black hole or, or what, but we'll follow this path a little bit and see where it leads us. Uh, we are flying in an explorer anyway. And we can continue to expand our uh, exo pack and uh, let's see, economy is sustainable, mathematical, conflict levels belligerent. You know. Yes, I know. Mission targets in another system. All right. So, where's your hole? Is it on the other side? No, it's right there. Oh, Bob. 
We have trouble finding the hole. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Fibony. Fib Fiborny? Fiborny. We'll go with Fiborny. Sounds a little Irish. But. We're here. Let's get my backpack settled away first. Upgrade exosuit, yes please. Um, let's get that technology. So we're up to 30,000 units now per upgrade. For this upgrade, it goes up a little bit each time. I'm getting into the millions by the end of it, but by that time, you should be loaded, so it doesn't really matter. So let's see if we can make a little bit more money. Anything cool landing here? Ooh, ooh, what is that? Hauler C-Class. Hauler B-Class. Okay, gotten some B-Class, that's better. Cobalt. All right, nice demand. All right, so I, apparently I have some in my exosuit. So, no, I don't. I thought I did. Oh, that was buy. Okay. Never mind. So sometimes when I'm buying the, the uh, cobalt off of other an uh, creatures, animals, species, life forms, whatever word I'm looking for, uh, I forget and put it in my exosuit. And if you crash the market and half your cobalt's in the wrong spot, you didn't sell all of it, well, then you're kind of out of luck. So we're going to sell this for $6 million. Bam. We'll go ahead and sell this platinum and silver, too, while we're at it, because just clearing space. Then we will be happy to buy that cobalt back from you for a cool 1.6, leaving us with 15 mil. Feeling good, looking good. Wish you had some chromatic metal, but other than that. What the heck is that? Nice head, buddy. Who are you? Um, you're weird. Let's just talk to weirdo. What's up? I approached the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Witness. The life form dons a mask of insulating nanite clusters, and for a moment their face appears to become my own. I see myself looking at myself, looking at myself. Weird. I am going to die. I am sure of it. Um, push away, embrace the life form, die, or leave. Let's give when we smelled that other guy and it worked out. I embrace the life form, but it's myself that I embrace. Yeah, Been there, right? It's it cold in space. The mass withers, peeling from my face like flesh. I am myself again, but the life form is saddened. They offer me pity. I just, I just hugged myself, man. What's wrong? That was weird. Gave me the option to die. I'm kinda curious now what that would've... How, whoa! All right, so I've met 30 aliens, and that guy got up in my face and scared me a little bit. Anybody, anything cool in here? Get a little bit of carbon out of the plant. Uh, just carbon, huh? No nanites, no navigational data, nothing. What is that? Nothing. Oh well. I'd like to see some more ships landing. That'd make Bob happy. Let's check the multi-tool out. Oh, I already bought a multi-tool, didn't I? Forgot about that. Can't whip it out in, in the space station. I've tried, believe me. <laughs> Alright, so... Yep, you're special. You got something here for me, right? Thank you. 
I'll take that. How's your tool? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's A class. Oh my gosh, damage potential 1200. This has got to be like all my money, probably. No, it's only 3 million? Alright, um. Alright, so I can exchange. Yeah, what what reason would I not do that? I'm seeing seeing none. We'll move to accept. And there we go. We did it. Let's check that bad boy out. Nice. Alright, so we're definitely gonna need to slap some more technology in here. We definitely need a terrain manipulator. Put that there. We'll go get you a couple carbon nanotubes. We can do that. What else do we need? Uh, we need an advanced mining laser. Yep. So we need two wire looms, a hermetic seal, and another carbon nanotube. So that's three carbon nanotubes. Let's go ahead and build that while we got plenty of carbon. So we're going to build three, hit right button, change it to three. Get that installed. Let's go ahead and put this in here. So we need a hermetic seal. I don't think I can make that with what I got on me. Nope. But I can I'm sure I can buy one. And then uh, I'm happy about this. Damage potential 1200. That's way better than what I had. Bolt caster. Chromatic metal. I still need chromatic metal, don't I? Advanced mining laser. That's what we want. Alright, let's go back over here to the vending machine. And see if we can get a hermetic seal. What did what did I need? I needed one, or is it just one? Uh, one hermetic seal and two wire looms. Man, those stupid wire looms are like 50k each. Or 73. Dang. Alright, I feel like I'm getting robbed here. You got a hermetic seal for me? <laughs> Come on, man. What's up with that? Uh, need one. Figure out what it takes to make that. All right, do that. Come back over to the exosuit. Let's see how. What does it take to make a hermetic seal? Condensed carbon thirty. All right, we can do that, no problem. Let's come over here. What's what do we got going on in here? We got some magnetized ferrite. Let's get some condensed carbon going. I think it said I needed 30. So let's go. Alright, 20 and 30. Like a glove. Fits perfect. Multi-tool. Oh wait, no, I need to make the hermetic seal. Hermetic seal. I'm sure that's way cheaper than if I would have had to buy it anyway, right? Done. Got my advanced mining laser. Let's go ahead and move this here. Let's move this here. Scatter blaster. Now that sounds fun. Alright, so these two are next to each other, so that should get a little increased buff. Now, do we have warp fuel to get to the next system? I'm still needing some chromatic metal. No one's helping me out with that, which kind of stinks. Um, Alright, so I got hyperdrive. Got 10% left. 
Does it tell me how far that'll take me? Uh, charge. Warp cell. Can I make a... Have I learned how to make a warp cell yet? Yes, I have. Antimatter. Chromatic metal, of course. Alright, alright. I might have to end it and go get some copper if I can't sort this out any other way. But let's see if we've got enough to do one more jump. Ooh, what is that? It's another fleet, huh? Looks like there's some stuff going on over there. Ain't none of my business. Alright, so let's deselect the current system. Where am I supposed to go? There. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Yes, it does. Alright, so it looks like we're heading down to get some fuel. We'll try, um... We'll go, we'll go try these guys out before we go try to mine. See if anybody over here's got anything fun for to sell. Now, watch out for those rocks. It's crazy. Sometimes you just fly right through them, and then other times you just smack into them. All right, is one of these ships gonna let me? There you go. Whoa. Here we go. There you are. Get turned around in here. There we go, bring me in home. So I'm looking for somebody to sell me chromatic metal. I'm also looking for a fighter ship that uh, I feel good about. And that will make a successful, successful day for Bob if I can find either one of those. I'm feeling good about these. I'm up to, I think, 15 million now. It's, it's pretty good. I can buy something decent. Something landing. Doors are opening. There we go. Oh wow. Everybody's landing. Alright, so we got a B class hauler. We got a C class explorer. We got a C class shuttle. We've got a B class shuttle. And then we got a uh Explore. Well, let's just go see what these guys. If anybody has anything good to sell? I don't think these guys sell much stuff. Usually only have one, uh, one really page of it. What's up? You need to have some chromatic metal, please. Cactus flesh. Yeah. What was your ship? Uh, yeah, no thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. So I don't have to necessarily trade it every time either. I can... Oh, dang it. Too slow. I can just buy it and keep it. Alright, that's mine, right? Yeah. Ow. That's that guy leaving. This guy's leaving. Anybody else coming in? Alright, we got a C class fighter with 31 spots. That's pretty good, actually. 31 spots, anyway. Another C class fighter. That's 12 million. That's 12 minute damage is 78. Damage is 78. It's pretty much the same. 
shield. I mean, those are pretty much identical. I don't know that I want to spend 12 million on one of these, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I need a uh, a fighter. What you got? Uh, nothing exciting. All right, let me look at this ship for a second. Let me see if I want to spend it. Oh, man. 31 slots is good. C-class is the lowest class, but in the beginning, I'm really looking for storage. Oh, man, it's technology's almost... I mean, it's only missing... It's only missing five things to be capped out. Damage potential's kind of crap, though. I'd love that to be a lot higher. I mean, my damage potential is 68. It's 78. So, and my shields are better. My hyperdrive better. I can't. I can't do it. Sorry, buddy. It's not going to do it for me. I need some. I need some damage. Bob needs to cause some havoc here. I get so. Um, I get so caught up in looking at all the differences when in the ships, you know. Do I want storage? Do I want... What do I want it for? But I'm thinking right now I just need something. I know I can go take out pirates. I'm not worried about the storage. So the the damage is really what I'm looking for. I'll, I'll get a hauler for storage later on. Or maybe I'll upgrade it to something else later on. But I just need something to defend myself out there from all the space pirates. So I'm just going to run in here and... Nope. <laughs> run right back out. I'm gonna run in here and check the uh, the cargo hold, see what they got for Bob back here, because they always leave me a little present. It's pretty nice of them. Thank you, Corvax casing. Now we're here, so let's take a look at the ship, see if for some reason we want to buy it. Although I don't know that I would, just because I believe you get one free at some point. At least I did the other time I played. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, you're weary. You will give me your ship for a very low, low price. Hang your head in shame, Gek. What you got? C class, meh. No, I don't want your I don't want this thing. I don't want this thing. It looks stupid and it doesn't have any storage. Sorry. I see why you're hanging your head in shame. Uh oh. Ow. No, oh, I didn't hurt myself. So we've got to go get some chromatic metal. There's no way around it. Let's see what kind of planet that is. Per parched planet. I'm guessing that means thirsty. This one looks like crap. Calcified planet. Aggressive Sentinels. Don't want none of that. Uh, Alright, we might be doing this. I guess we're doing this. So let's, let's shift my view. Okay, where is it? All right. Distress signal. Where are you guys at? I 
apparently I am getting this. Whoa! You're dead. Next. Who else wants some Bob? You gotta be careful not to shoot the good guys because they get mad at you sometimes when you do that. Alright, where's the arrows? I lost the arrows. Thank you. Alright, you're dead. Who's next? Where'd you go? I don't understand where you are. Where is this guy? You, you accidentally start shooting the cargo pods and then, uh, then the good guys start shooting at you. Alright, he's dead. That was much easier, actually. We got somebody else wanting some? Where'd you go? Come back here. Suck it, bad guy. You're dang right, hostile ships defeated. Emergency comms established. Space rescue. That's right. What's up, dude? Friend. Friend. Gek. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what you're saying, man. He looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. Okay. Navigational data received. Alright, where am I going? Please don't be the ugly stupid one. It is the ugly stupid one. Alright, it's free though. We will take it. Let's get in here. This is a beautiful ship. I wouldn't want any other ship than this. So let's go talk to the captain and see what he has in mind. Now that battle went a lot better than the last one. I don't know if uh, just getting get my feet back wet again, but the last time I had a fight, it did not go well. Again, I was trying that stupid view, so maybe that was part of it. We're gonna do. We're gonna blame it on that. I'm coming. I'm coming. You remember me? I was just here. Told you your ship was crap, and I didn't want it. Hey, buddy! Your head's not hung in shame anymore. Excitedly hopping on one foot to another, jesting wildly around the bridge. They point towards the control panel of the freighter. They seem to be suggesting that I take command. So I can inspect it, or I can request payment, or I can decline it. I'm going to go ahead and inspect it, which means I'm going to take it. Um, just because it's free. you got to start somewhere. But I mean... This is probably the ugliest one I've seen. It, it, I mean, it kind of looks like a ship that goes in the ocean with the the um, the underwater part here. You like that use of nautical terms I'm using, guys? The underwater part. So thanks. Appreciate it. Now we own a freighter. It brings several benefits, including a portable base, a very large inventory, and the ability to command fleets of frigates. Freighters offer extra inventory storage. Additional starships can be docked in the freighter's hangar. Command expeditions from the bridge. Construct a base aboard the freighter. So we got some new stuff to do. Inspect your fleet. So let's do that. Sorry, this mission's run or this uh, this episode's running long, but we got into something cool. So the ship's former owner is visibly relaxed. They seem to re revel in their unworried return to pure freighter captaincy to the simple life of engines 
route plotting and cargo. I'm heartened the sail has not prompted them to immediately flee the vessel. Yeah, that'd be good. So we can transfer items now. So we'll put that over there. I don't even know what this stuff is. Oh, it's worth some good bit, though. I'll save that. I'll probably sell it. Oh, I got some... Oh, I got chromatic metal! Awesome. All right, thanks, dude. I needed that. I needed that. Bad. All right, so I'm done with that. Let me fix my stuff while I'm thinking about it. So, my market for a fighter has uh, gone down. I'm not as excited as I was a minute ago about that because I have some stuff now. And really, the, I was worried about that battle with that other ship, the way it, the way it, um, it worked last time. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, it's gone long. And it's almost an hour. And uh, we will pick... Oh, look at all these guys coming. We'll pick up next time uh, on the bridge of the ship here. We will explore our new freighter. We'll, uh, we'll talk to some of these guys. We'll see about maybe sending them on some missions to go do some cool stuff for us. And, uh, and do some other cool stuff. We'll play with our new toy. Uh, this is Survival Bob in No Man's Sky. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. If you made it all the way to the end, smash that like button to let me know. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm having a blast, and I hope you are too. We will see you next time in No Man's Sky with Survival Bob. Oh, I almost forgot. If you're going to be a Bob, get a freighter. And get a freighter for free, because that's the best way to get a freighter. <laughs> Take care, guys.